the idea and the bottom line is anything that you are doing and you don't have a concrete specific purpose in doing it that will bring you to your ultimate goal and end result you know it's just making you be a busy body so every time no matter where you are you must always ask yourself what is this thing helping me to achieve how is it bringing me closer to my goals how is it bringing me closer to my purpose so for you to be <clears throat> blessed in the year in the new year you need to learn to live for pop to be fruitful rather than being a busy body it's no prophet will give you this no anointing oil will give you this mm -hmm. And no, you know, prophecy, prophetic declaration will give you this. You must work on yourself. And you must learn to live a purposeful life. You must learn to live your life in such a way and to structure your daily activities in such a way that they line up with your end result, with your purpose, with your goals in life, rather than just be getting busy on being busy. So how do you get to become uh, result-oriented in the new year? How do you get to become, how do you get your life to become productive in, in the new year? How do you get your life to begin to go and, you know, go around in the new year? Make sure that, you remember we spoke about wealth. And the wealth doesn't, it's, you know, it's not just riches and it's not just money, right? Wealth is much more than that. It, it could include rich, but riches is just one aspect of it. Money is also just a little fragment of it. But wealth could be much more better, bigger, 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 and thousands of variations of them. But the core principle wealth, source of wealth in, the, in, in, in life, those are the things you must always make sure you get yourself busy with. Get yourself busy cultivating those sources of wealth. Get yourself busy always developing those wealth. If you, you will never get anything wrong if you get yourself busy always either converting time, you will never get it wrong. If you get yourself busy always uh, you know, finding opportunities in space and finding your space and developing your land of promise and cultivating your land of promise and, you know, tilling your ground and keeping it and, you know, maximizing space, you will never get it wrong. If you are busy uh, developing yourself, adding value to your own self, to who you are, and, you know, uh, yeah, building a shame value in yourself, you know, self-educating yourself, uh, making yourself a better person, you will never get it wrong. If you are busy <coughs> working and using work as an instrument, as a tool of, you know, adding value to yourself, you know, and converting, you know, the wealth to riches and to money or to talents or to people or to, uh, you know, things that you need to do, you will never get it wrong. And if you are busy engaged with law and order in your area of calling, in your area of purpose and in the world around you, you will never get it wrong as well. So be busy with things that you know, that will make you productive one way or the other. Because even if you are, if even if you are called, let's say, to be an engineer, and you are just busy developing yourself, by the time you touch the engineering topic, you are already so matured, so developed, to be able to get it faster. So that's why people who are busy, who have been busy developing themselves, when they now get to a specialization and on the area where they are specifically meant to grow, they grow faster because they have potential, they have the, the, the capacity, the mental capacity to be able to go because they have, or if you are busy converting time, everything you convert time to, you know, will come back to pay you back. You know, if either you are converting time to disciple other people or you are converting time to invest in other people, you know, that will always pay you back, even though you are called to be a doctor later on or an engineer. So anything you are busy, you know, anytime you are busy uh, making order and exercising yourself in making order and law and order, and making everything to function the way they are supposed to be. I mean, under law and order, we have administration, we have management, we have, you know, uh, yeah, all these kind of structure system, all these things. So if you learn to do these things, even if you are called to be, a, you know, a space engineer tomorrow, because of that experience, it will always work in your behalf. So learn, determine what you are busy doing. But of course, all those things must be in line to come 
in line with what that particular purpose and calling that you yourself have. Hello everybody, DSA here. I would like us to spread this word together. Let the gospel of the kingdom conquer the world. We only need you to help us take five simple steps. What are these steps? One, go ahead and like the video, please, if you have not yet done that. Number two, we need you to subscribe to this channel. Have you yet subscribed? Not yet done it? Go do it now. Number three, you need to press and click on that bell. You see the bell there? That will give you notification of every video that we do. Then the next thing you need to do, write your comments. Let's know what you think, good or bad. And then, of course, you have other platforms like Instagram, like Facebook. Share this video on your other platforms. All right? Let's win the world for Christ.